Alrighty, what's up guys? I'm Win360 here, and in this video I'm just going to do a quick quick uh, demonstration of uh, this new thing called uh, Google Voice Conversational Search for Google Chrome. Um, there's no real official name, but that's kind of what Google, Google's calling it. So basically what it is, is it's kind of an intelligent voice assistant uh, that's uh, for Google Search um, that's available only on the Google Chrome browser. Basically, if you guys n uh, are familiar, if you guys have Android phones or tablets and, you, and you're running uh, Android 4.1 Jelly Bean or above, uh, you guys probably are familiar with uh, the uh, mobile intelligence system that Google has on those devices, which is known as Google Now, which is, which is kind of a software that gives you information like flight status, um, you can ask it questions it will and it will like uh, speak the results to you uh, by voice um, and uh, like Apple Siri too so and this is just kind of the desktop counterpart of Google Now or um, Siri so let's jump right in and see what what it's got so so um, in order to have that uh, this new feature um, you need to have a Google Google Chrome browser. If you are an existing Google Chrome, Google Chrome browser, chances are that you are not have not updated your Google Chrome browser, and you need to do so in order to get the the voice search feature. Uh, in order to do in order to update, you need to go to the right here, click on that, go down here and click on About Google Chrome, and then it will update itself. And once it's done, it will see, it will say Google Chrome is up to date. So now you will have the uh, latest features, the voice feature. And now you need to go to Google.com. And oh, and by the way, if you don't if you don't have Chrome, just download it. It's a free download, very fast. Anyways, um, next you need to go to Google.com. That's the place you're gonna do your search. So um, let's get started. Uh, let's just start by doing an example. So you need to click on the microphone and then speak whatever you want to the search engine and to get a search result. So I'm gonna do a, some demonstrations right now and uh, sit back and relax. Who is the president of the United States? The president of United States of America is Barack Obama. So you can see very fast and accurate uh, answers and uh, so that's pretty cool um and I'm just gonna ask a few more of these general knowledge knowledge questions who is the CEO of Google the CEO of Google is Larry Page very fast and very accurate again who is the what is one plus one the answer is two See if you ask math math questions, or it will also answer it. And uh, so we're going to do another one. It's, uh, nearby pizza restaurants. Nearby pizza restaurants. There are several listings for pizza restaurants. As you can see, very helpful. Um, just in general, uh, general. Kind of th these types of questions that can be very useful. Um, so, um, to ask another one of these questions. Directions to Macy's. Boom. Macy's West right Farms Mall is 18 minutes from your location by car. Here are your directions. As you can see, very fast. Boom. Right there, your answer. Um... Who is the CEO of Hewlett Packard? The CEO of Hewlett Packard is Meg Whitman. As you can see again, um, it speaks back to you the what you're asking and the pronunciation uh, pronunciation uh, very very realistic like a human. Um, so, what's the weather like? It's 77 degrees and partly cloudy in Avon. 
What is 500 plus 700? The answer is 1,200. How many quarts are in a gallon? One U.S. gallon is four U.S. quarts. Who's the CEO of Apple? The CEO of Apple Inc. is Timothy D. Cook. How much does the Earth weigh? Earth has a mass of 5.97, 2 times 10 to the 24 kilograms. So yeah, that kind of wraps up my um, review. I think it's a great feature and it's something that's really cool. Um, so yeah, thank you guys and um, have a great day. Bye-bye.